subscribe or this will happen to you. <laughs> yeah, you're not subscribed yet. Come on. Right guys, it's event day again. The sun is shining in the highlands and we're ready. So today we're starting with log. Five, three, one. Five at 150, three at 160, one at 170. We always press our log in the normal jump, the normal one, and then after we do log, we're going up to the warehouse where we've got yoke, everything else. Yeah, yeah, yeah yoke into farmers, loading and stones up there, and then we'll maybe do some sandbag toss as well. And I think this will be the last time we're training log inside this week because oh. we're going to maybe start doing properly change it up for world so, so we're kitted out in the new my protein so my protein this is through. it tom size <laughs> this is uh so they custom made uh some clothes for tom and i to wear so we're both kitted out in the my protein we've got plenty of t-shirts track suits shorts so there's a tom size and a look size yes <laughs> so we're buzzing so thank you very much for my protein we're going to start warming up for log so we'll see you on the battlefield That's the warm ups done. What did we warm up to in the metal one? 130 kilograms, so we're up to this big bad boy, 140. Um, then we did 150 for five, like we said, first Eight. set. So it's clean and pressed as well, so yeah. it's for conditioning again. <laughs> Are you wearing your belt this week? Yes. One reason I didn't wear it last week is because I couldn't find my sleeves and uh, I couldn't have bothered looking through it. So. <laughs> <laughs> and it was easy enough way, but yeah. Everything's going on this week, 100%. Let's get it done. <coughs> right, I'm going to try jogging. <laughs>
right guys, that's us finished in the gym. So as you saw, we did a 5-3-1 on the log press. Five reps at 150, three reps at 160, and then one rep at 170. So that felt good. Happy with that? Yes, it very well. I was just practicing keeping my upright, my back straight. If you look at my last log press video I did put on Instagram, I was hunched over, so. And it felt so much more comfy, jeez. <laughs> yeah, you look nice and comfortable. So that's, that's a good thing, that's a good sign, a good sign. So we are in the new warehouse. Oh, yeah, oh, yeah, oh, yeah. Next wonderful way is where we'll be working today. So it's about 20 odd meters. We're going up to 300 kilos in the yoke today. Um, and then we're doing farmers on the way back. We're going to get into it um, and see how it goes. So let's do this. Enjoy the events in the new warehouse. What's up there, Tom? Uh, I think I got a wee, I thought it sat in my glute a wee bit, so the Maya Master. This, look at this attachment. This is like the blades you get from physios. Oh, I've only ever used a massage gun really, so it would be good to add them into your training as well. Three, two, one, go. <laughs> that was our yoke done. Um, we went up to 300, 20 meters there. 20 meters back, did a couple of runs there. I didn't record Luke, I pressed the wrong button. <laughs> Poor Tom is too concentrating on trying to. We've got the camera because Simon's not here and we're swiveling the camera as it's on the tripod. So Tom was, he did a good job in that. He forgot to press the record button. Never mind, it is what it is. So now we've got a yoke, 20 meters down, run back, pick up the farmers, 110 a hand, and take them back. So we're going to do that for a couple of runs. And then that's our yoke work and farmers work done. Um, so again, it's just getting that speed, so it's more speed yoke, speed farmers we're trying to get. Um, then after that, we'll go into the dreaded loading medley. The hell of loading. So that'll be fun. So we'll get going with this yoke. I think Tom's up first, it's set to his height, and then I'll bring it back up. Let's go. So let's see how it goes. Three, two, one, go. Three, two, one, go. Come on in. Good, let's go. Come on, come on. Yeah, buddy. Number one, baby. Guys, that's the farmers and yoke completed. Nice and easy, nice and quick, got the legs moving. Now we're on to the dreaded loading. So we are doing 100, 125, 150 standby, and finish with the tire. So four implements, about 25 meters each one, so it's gonna be hard. I'm gonna try a belt this time, and we're gonna see how we do. Three, two, one, go. Let's go, Tom. Good work, come on. 
Last one. Yes. Come on. That's it. Boom. Three, two, one, go. Good. Come on. Let's go, let's go, let's go. Come on in. Let's do this, come on. Come on, you. Yes. Finish it, come on. Good, good, good. Make it, yeah. Good, that's it, that's it, go. Last one, come on. Yes, yes, yes. Good. A 150 kg sandbag has been hidden away for a while and wow, so that's as nice and fatigued onto the famous Atlas stones. So for this, we're doing. We might do a six stone run, but we're going to do 120 for two, 140 for two, 160 for two. Boom, and then done. So just uh, getting used to the runs again, but we'll do it doubles because we only have three platforms. So hopefully we'll stop sweating by then. And that was the first time we've did a four implement run um, in this since, since last year in well. this prep. So um, it felt 150 for me. That was tough. Um, but still getting it done. Still got it done. Still got it up. So. That's the main thing, we're going to try and stop sweating. Tom's getting his old-time strength tacky on to snow. And then... Hopefully the tacky's going to be a bit better this week because we've got a gun, the stones are still manky, but luckily they're quite light still, so... So we need to... Get someone to clean them for us. Georgie, where are you at, boy? I'm going to get you to clean them. Anyway, yeah. let's get on with it. Tacky came on. Uh -oh. How you get on cleaning yourself, Tommy White? Oh, these are monkey. It's annoying because they're a good session in the stones. We've just not been cleaning them, and you can see the 160 was just slippy. You know, you don't usually make excuses, but literally, I don't think anyone could pick that up. <laughs> you could see in the videos that every single stone was dirty, our hands were dirty, so it's annoying, but we're going to get them clean and get them beasted, aren't we? Yeah, we've just spent a wee bit of time cleaning them there. Yeah, yeah so. so it makes a big difference when they're clean too when they've got all crap in them, you know, we've been, you know, they've been lying in the gym, lying outside, now up here, so they've got all different stuff on them, but considering we're still, still decent in stones, you know, it's still decent enough, but once they're clean and ready to go, we'll be beasting it. What's that spray you're using to clean yourself? Uh, old time strength tacky remover, it just removes all tacky, it's good for your skin, it's not like WD-40 or 
um, other bad chemicals that can ruin your skin, spray it on, rub it in, and clean it yourself. And it smells nice as well. Ooh. <laughs> Sinead will give you a little cuddle after. <laughs> <laughs> so let's have a look at the stones. So we've been trying to clean them. So you can see that's... You can see that this is the worst bit. Tacky does not stick to this, so... Mm. That's all built up tacky. Usually you think, oh, that's good, but that's been in the ground outside, inside, so... So Tom was cleaning this one, so it's not too bad, the 120. The 160 is just built up with... It's a couple of mil thick of, like, just gunk on it, so... we really looking after it once we've been, uh, lifting. You know, once you lift stones and clean yourself, you can't be bothered staying for another hour to clean the stones, mm. but... But we're going to do it, we're going to get it all nice and clean, so for next weekend... You'll see them sparkly. They'll be nice and shiny, like the brand new Atlas Endurance stones they should be, so we will get them nice and cleaned. We're going to clean up ourselves, and then we'll chat, chat to you after we get cleaned. Right guys, so that's us cleaned up a little bit um, of those stones. We've got another, oh, probably another hour or so to, to go before they're nice and sparkly. Um, but we'll get them, we'll get them nice and clean. We'll maybe give the floor a little mop as well. Um, again, it's just little things that we need to kind of tweak. Tom just said that it's not because we're, we're feeling weak or anything, we're feeling strong, but just sometimes with stones, if they're slipping, they can do more harm than good. So if, they, if your stones are dirty and they're slipping, that's when you can kind of tear a bicep or, or kind of injure yourself. So there's, there's a, a reason why we don't kind of carry on and push through sometimes because it's it's more detrimental than it is good so we've uh, so in the warehouse what did we do today we did yolk 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 into farmers loading and stones and then the stones so it was good that was the first time as tom said with a 150 mirror foot sandbag that was a big sandbag so i, I yeah, it took me a couple of seconds to to lap it and kind of go with it but i'm happy for me personally i'm happy i loaded it tom smashed it the yoke felt good obviously we did the log back in the other gym everything okay. felt good it was just annoying with the stones because yeah. you want to make a big bang from the end of the session but it can look said it is what it is it's slippy you can't push through a uh, stone and start trying to bend your arms to lift it and stuff because that's where disasters happen so i mean exactly. It's uh, once they're clean, they're going to be easy. Yeah. We're going to chat to you back in the gym. Clean that. I'm here. playing football tonight for the Unbreathables. <laughs> I made the team up. The Unbreathables. What foot are you? Left. We left peg. Left yeah. peg, right in the top corner. So any clubs out there? I'll be your man. Glasgow Celtic, hit him up. There's Big Tommy doing a peat. Right next to the Viking press. Um, well done, Tom. <laughs> We're in the countryside. How do you deal with them? in the countryside but there's a bathroom literally two. There's, two. there's two toilets never mind so what was this happening? Oh, was right next. why are dogs allowed to pee outside because they're animals Tom. so what we are animals we're, we're mammals tell me fact of the day oh. what did you do stick on the stuff karma, karma. yeah so what are you up to now tom well i've got my football socks on i'm gonna go and play bend it like vacuum so there's nine of us today, so I'm ready. I feel fit. Headers on volleys. How many goals? Ten. <laughs> Jeez, power. So anybody that wants uh, football lessons, I'm your man. You were in the flip flops. Yeah, I need to give some people a chance, you know. Training finished. How are you feeling? Fit as a fitter. All set for your football match tonight. Yeah. Yeah, it's an unbreathables versus the unthinkables. Are you in both teams then? I think so, yeah. <laughs> Makes sense. Yeah. I don't have to think when I play that then, you know? Because I can pass to anyone, so I don't have to think. And what about the unbreathable thing? Why? Because when I run, everyone goes, you breathe loud, so it's like... So, and there's a lot of heavy guys going to be there tonight, I think. There's a lot of heavy guys? Yeah. The heavy squad? Yeah, the heavy squad. Anyone heavier than you? Yeah, two people. So that was our second day of events this week. We did events yesterday, and then events today. This is our big event session. Trained at 12 o'clock today. I actually a felt better. more energy today at that time for some reason. So, yeah. had my meals perfect, I think, so we did good. Like I said, the only thing I marked up was those stupid stones, but at least that happened in training and it did in a World's Strongest Man event. It's not, it's just our fault for not cleaning them. Yeah, you know? it is what it is. A wee update on the plaid shirts. Uh, just had a message from the manufacturer, so they're all They're finished. not coming now, guys, so. Stop asking questions, so sorry about that, and sorry for letting you down. No, they, that's a lie. I'd say probably about three weeks 
so stay tuned for them. Track suits are getting finished up, the shorts are getting finished up, so perfect weather for shorts. May or June time everything will be released on the internet, I think. Oh, yeah, May at the latest. May at the latest, I would say. And we've got a new design, a new t-shirt, one of our sayings is going on the back. Thank you for watching. Stay safe, smile and stay spicy and have a good weekend. And please keep ringing that little bell. Ding dong. Ding ling 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 ling